Good morning. Hope everybody's good. I'm doing okay. Still got my little lung thing going. This one's hanging around for a minute, I think. I got 300 and... Oh, man, I just saw it. Let me see. Short-term memory problems here. Got freaking old timers here. 343 days, no boost. Good on me. Okay. No alcohol. Hi, Mom. So, I'm on day... Five, no alcohol. <clears throat> I was craving it yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. I was it seems like when I'm at work and I like got into the routine of getting off work and having some food and then just going straight for the beer. That's that was the routine. And like obviously day five <clears throat> I've noticed the the routine like more than ever. Because <laughs> I was craving it I, I start craving the beers at work actually it's like something to look forward to when i get off work so that's uh probably not going to change for any any time soon but i still put my foot down and didn't it's getting easier to not drink as the days go by and, but i'm pretty sure that craving is always going to be there no matter how long i on, am on break from it But um, other than my lungs, I feel fine. I mean, I yesterday, before work, um, I went for a little bicycle ride, for like an eight-mile bicycle ride, and, um, just because I, I sold a bike, and I wanted to test it before I, I sold it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I wanted to sell it before I, um, I wanted to test it before I sold it, sold it. So I took it for a nice ride. Felt good to get back on the trail, although I'm in really bad shape. I mean, I was definitely not the the fastest guy out there anymore. That's for sure. I, I got my butt handed to me pretty quickly. But there's no boost, so I don't have the boost pushing me like I used to. You know, fake power, fake energy. It's all fake Yeah, let me put just a little more sugar. Hang on. Gotta get it just right. No spoon, where art thou? There we go. No sugar, no booger. Just right. There we go. So, I'm up early today. <coughs> I was up at four o'clock. I don't know, something woke me up. No. Oh, yeah, it was acid reflex. I, I kind of woke up to talk, to turn over, and my acid reflex was kicking in. So I got up, took some Tums, took a shot of Robitussin, laid back down for like maybe 15 minutes and got back up because I knew I wasn't going to be able to fall back asleep because my brain started racing. I mean, um, now that I'm, I don't do boot, I don't do anything, I'm completely sober right now, completely no alcohol for five days my brain's kind of going through the motions you know uh, everything kind of starts racing your your thoughts start racing because you have nothing to hide behind i guess or nothing to uh, uh uh inhibit you or um inebriate you you know no no inebriation here no off balance my chemicals are actually my, my chemistry is actually now going more towards normal, like what, it, you know, it meant to be. I haven't been completely sober. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh, my God. Ghost in the house, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, um, I haven't been completely sober. <clears throat> Man. 
in seven years, something like that. It's been a while, man. Been a while. It's either some, you know, it's either drugs, alcohol, or pretty much both, you know, for the past seven, eight years. The, uh, the boost was, the last run was like three years. And then I took a short break for like seven months or something. And then the run before that was probably for about the same three years or so. So I'd say 10 years ago, I was when I started becoming like addicted to boost. And the, there was just a short couple of short breaks in between here and there. I can't remember the year I, I got like a, a year and a half sober completely. No alcohol, no drugs. And, uh, and then I broke down one day after like a year and a half of being sober, clean and sober. And I uh, started drinking beer. And then that led into the, the drugs. Of course, it's a gateway substance. Alcohol could be. And... Um, I remember I was on this thing called Sunday Morning or something like that. It's like a, a, a website for people that are trying to get clean and sober. Boy, I was preachy on that thing, but you know what? I remember how good I felt. That's how I was preachy. I felt so good. <clears throat> I don't. You just kind of. I just kind of slept back. It just kind of eased my way back into it. I thought. I thought that um, I could control it, and obviously, I was wrong. Obviously, I was wrong for both drugs and alcohol. I, I, I fell back into it, man, after a year and a half of sobriety. Man, but you know what? The past is the past. Right now, I'm just <clears throat> not thinking too far about the future because that's not even here yet. All you have is just the present. So, like I said, <clears throat> I'm never going to say I'm quitting uh, alcohol. Drugs, for sure. Not doing drugs again. I quit doing drugs. Never going to touch that again. Um, weed, I might touch again in the future, but not uh, speed. No, that's out. Alcohol, I'm pretty sure I will. Um I do have a beer mail package coming from my brother from another mother, which I'm looking forward to. And I'm hope that this is gone um, by the time it gets here. Even if it isn't, I'm still going to review the beer. Um, whether I continue drinking beer after that review, uh, I will cross that bridge when it comes. That's all I can say for now. Like I said, I'm not going to plan shit in the future for today. I'm taking a break because of my lungs. That's all I can say right now. Do I feel good? Yes, I do. But I know my brain, how it works. And, you know, when you get sober after being, on a, being a drug addict and an alcoholic, when you go sober... Your brain starts to race. Everything's like, like, and you just want to be able to step back, right? And it just your brain starts racing, man, because I don't know why, but it does. And like alcohol and drugs kind of slows it down to where you can chill. But you don't have, I don't have that right now. So my brain is racing. That's why I'm up at 4 a.m. You know, I woke up, laid there, my brain started racing I just with thoughts, you know, and it's like surges of thoughts start going. But it feels good. Uh, definitely um, comes a train. Let's listen and see what he does. Sounds like the Metro League. <clears throat> so I got to take a shot. Anyways, where was I? Um, yeah. I mean, like, 
not drinking so far five days. I'm not going to lie, man. I like how present I feel right now. I feel very present. Like, I feel like I'm really like here. <laughs> Sorry. And, um, I like how I, besides my lungs right now, I, I like, I like how I feel, man. I feel good. I do. I feel really good. Went for a nice bike ride yesterday before work. It felt so good to be back out there and not on drugs. It was actually really me and I didn't have a hangover. And, um, the only thing now about alcohol is I miss I miss the way it tastes. I just I I I love the way it tastes. You know, and you know, I do love the buzz I get. It does feel good, but anything after that, once the buzz wears off, it sucks, man. It sucks. It sucks. But right now, I am clean and sober right now. And I have been I would say for the last two days, because five days, I think it takes like maybe two days or three days for the alcohol to actually get out of your system. I'm not sure on that one, but right now I am clean and sober, clean and sober. I haven't had boost in, fuck, almost a year. Haven't had weed in over maybe a month or month and a half, something like that. So I don't have even have that in my system right now. So it feels really good. Um, I'm actually probably going to leave maybe an hour early for work, and I'm, I'm going to go to the gym before work and get a quick quick set quick set in because I feel like it. I feel good. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave early today, an hour before start time at work, go get, go get pumped up before work, and then go handle my business, you know? I feel fucking good, man. I'm not going to lie. I feel damn good. And, um, you know, um, I'm going to take it one day at a time. Heater's getting ready to kick on. Must be cold out there. So anyways, I mean, um, I wanted to kind of point something out <clears throat> politically just because uh, I felt it should be because, like, remember I was talking about how people have Trump derangement syndrome? I'm just going to read some comments on a, a video called Deadline for Trump's Bond Approaching. This is on CBS Evening News, okay? This is in the comment section. <clears throat> It says here, the man was determined to have defrauded multiple banks. Is anyone surprised? No one wants to back his bond. Bullshit. Who, where, where did he find this information? He has defrauded multiple banks. Who, what, when, where? Let his buildings get seized. He thinks he doesn't need to pay. Now is the time for payment. For what? Because he paid off his loan? Asshole? Okay, here's another one. Trump plays the victim. MAGA Karens do too. Really? Trump's playing the victim? Uh, hello? He's a victim of corruption, asshole. Okay, let's see. Bino, Bino. Oh, he goes Bino slash billionaire in name only. Pay up, chump. For what? For paying off his bank loan? Don't lend money to a liar in chief. Can you explain what he's lying about, asshole? Oh, and like Joe Biden's the most honest guy in the world, huh? Paying off, since when is paying off your bank loan a fraud? Oh, 
Oh, here's one. Trump fans. <coughs> Sorry. Here's one. Trump fans suddenly vanishing from YouTube comments. They must be all getting censored. Laugh my ass off. That's probably true. That's probably true. Okay. Hold him accountable for his crime. He needs to go bankrupt. What crime, asshole? Mr. James James Newzil 5393. What crime, ass? He needs to go bankrupt? Really? You want you want you want him to go bankrupt? See? Here's one. Yes, glad it's here now. You're glad, okay. You had better hurry, Donald. Letitia James. What? Tomorrow morning, catch up future. Catch up futures will skyrocket. He can't get food stamps. <laughs> Broke Don's credit is so bad that he cannot even order from KFC. Okay. Trump, Don, poor Leon. Broke by late spring. In state prison by late summer. Thank you, New York. We love you. Oh, really? That's... Really nice of you, ass, ass munch. Let it happen. I'm enjoying this every minute. See what I mean? See how these people think? For what? They have no reason to think like this about him. They're so brainwashed. One year for freedom, for self-control for America. Okay. The root of all evil is greed. Almighty dollar. Yes, that is true. Yeah. Letitia James, proof of that. Baron will have to apply for financial aid. Oh, that's fucked up, man. That's fucked up, man. Is all media stupid? Yes. If he really is rich, that might be because everyone else keeps paying his bills. What? Like, he doesn't never did nothing to earn his shit, asshole. Let me know if he combined his hair, bud. Okay. Bish better have money. Bitch. Is that you spelled it B-I-S-H. Bitch. Learn how to spell before you make a comment, ass munch. He can skip the campaign expenses with no loss to the USA. Hmm. Sleep well, Donnie. Daddy would have been so proud. Oh, yeah. Proud, yeah, because he's sticking up for himself to corruption. Trump is looking more and more like a fried tomato. Oh, yeah? What do you look like sitting there behind your keyboard, cowboy? Got laugh faces. Patriots, daddy needs you. Buy his shoes and FNFTS. Okay, whatever. Trump, very poor president. Laugh, 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 laugh. Yeah, while you sit in your little mommy's basement behind your keyboard, cowboy. Take it all. Trump had no problem fleecing poor and modest income folks in their assets. What goes around comes around. What are you talking about? He's creating jobs, ass munch. What the hell are you talking about? Poor baby. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Not party. See the mentality of these idiots on the left? They're like children. They, they, their comments are like little fucking entitled children. Why doesn't he ask Jared for the money? He has $2 trillion from KSA. What the Who in the hell is that? Take his business away. Oh, so all those people that work for him could be on the streets, asshole? When all of Trump's operating liquid, liquid funds get seized, the company is done. Can't make payroll, service loans, or even buy orange bronzer. Okay, child. That's the best you got. Make them wait. Give each of the company's employees two weeks eviction. Then remove all the furniture and plumbing to sell. It is an asset. Then close the damn doors. Oh, okay. That's nice of you to think like that about all them poor people. Ass munch. Corrupt Trump. Let's put it on the t-shirts. Corrupt for what? A-hole? For what? Can't name one thing, I bet, keyboard cowboy. Diaper Don, 
crapped himself again. Ooh, that was so just mature of you and so sophisticated, son. Lock him up. Ooh, that was a good one. That's so original. He ain't paying anything. It's his money and nobody else's to let to let them close the buildings along with all the employees. I mean, I see I see how that would help the people of New York. That was that was a good comment there. Lol, he ain't got it. Oh really? You don't think so? That's why he came up with three and a half billion dollars yesterday, keyboard cowboy. Keep telling yourself that, child. The bank loaning him money was the bank unequivocally agreeing that it was in fact worth that much. That's right. Anyone that disagrees should sell their house immediately for the taxes assessment value. Thank you. Thank you. Good one. Here's one of the lib. That was obviously a Trump supporter. Here's another libtard comment. Ha ha ha. Trump is broke. Ha ha ha. Keep having fun on your keyboard, cowboy, in your mommy's babe basement. Yeah. I still think some entity somewhere is going to save Donald Trump's hide in this. Of course, it's called his own ass because he's a freaking smart, responsible billionaire. I will believe it when I see it. Yep, you should. You ain't going to see it. Hey, Putler, the crap. Why don't you bail him out? This man is all about theatrics and ways to get attention. Oh, really? That's what you think? <laughs> really? <laughs> like, you think he's doing all, going through all this just because he wants attention? Are you fucking insane, asshole? We all know he's going to come up with the bond. Guessing from an offshore, untraceable account, probably indirectly funded by Saudi Arabia. All the media attention process. He is eating it up. Okay, yeah. To keep telling yourself that, dude. <clears throat> There's a guy thinking Elon's going to bail him out. Yeah, maybe he will because Elon is a smart guy and he knows what Trump is here for, a-hole. Take it. He's a disgrace to our country. Okay, what has he done to disgrace this, to disgrace this country, a-hole? What has he done? Uh, let me think. Um, made lots of the highest job uh, count ever. Uh, inflation was way down. Um, everything was good. He's building the wall to protect our country. Uh, that's a disgrace to our country, really? Hmm. Me thinks not, keyboard cowboy or girl, whatever you are. Tranny. Oh, boy. It just keeps going and going and going. He needs to stop telling lies. That is what you need to do. About what? What's he lying about? Can you explain that, keyboard tranny? They may take his properties, but he'll probably get them back. Oh, yes, he will. That's a good comment. I thought Trump was rich. Could he actually be lying again? No. He's he's a broke ass, dude. He's a broke ass. And that's the truth, okay? No, I'm just lying. Here's one. I'm voting for Joe Biden. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. So you get the gist. Um, uh, pretty much that's how um, Democrat liberal supporters make comments. You know, very, very immature, childish, nothing to back up anything they say. No facts, no nothing, just little keyboard cowboy shots. You know, little shots just to kind of like try to upset people because they want to get their little two cents in you know so ridiculous man that's why i'll never never support corrupt democrats and their bullshit but anyways the video is running long i feel awesome man except for my little cough but that's okay every four hours i take a shot of robitussin it does kind of help so as long as I keep steady stream of robo in my system, I should be just fine. So I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm going to go do my thing. I've lost two and a half pounds in five days. So I feel good. Um, 
I am looking forward to uh, reviewing Bubblegut beer. It's it's a very special one, and there's no way I'm not going to pass that up. <coughs> so um, I'm not saying I'm going to continue to consume beer after that, but I will do that and enjoy that. And when that time comes, I'll see if I want to continue or not to uh, go on with uh, being completely sober. So y'all have a great day, and I'll catch you later. See ya.